Okay, so I'm here with Danny from California. I love when we have Americans. I mean, I love all you know the international stars that we've been talking to too. But <laughs> it's just fun that you're American. Um, okay, so Danny's from California, and he's an Imagineer. That's right. Yay! I've been doing it for about five years now. Wow, that's awesome. So I feel like being an Imagineer is might be something that you kind of grow up wanting to be because it's a fantastic job. I, you know, I've wanted to be an Imagineer since I was a little kid. I, I used to draw, come up with ideas. Ideas for for rides, and then from there I worked at Disneyland. Uh, I've mm -hmm. been, uh, and then from there working at Imagineering, uh, How about that? working on Tokyo, Hong Kong, and now Cruise Line projects. Wow, that's really exciting! So, what are you responsible for here? On on this ship, on the Disney Magic relaunch, uh, I am the art director for the Dis uh, Disney's Oceaneer Club, Disney's Oceaneer Lab, the, the kids' spaces. Okay, so I when you say you're the art director for that, what exactly does that mean? Because that place is. Fantastic! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I am the uh, I lead the creative vision. I lead the team uh, with the ideas, kind of developing the ideas, designing it, and then installing uh, the, the different kids spaces: okay. Marvel's Avengers Academy, Andy's room. Right. Um, and then I also uh, helped out with uh, the Aqua Dunk and uh, and the Aqua Lab. What what is it that you did with the Aqua Dunk? I was uh, one of the creative designers. I got to uh, to come up with the backstory and then help out the team there. Okay. So this is the guy responsible for that ride. <laughs> You've done it, I presume. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, when we were oh yeah, old pro at the Docker uh, Town. At least more than a dozen times uh, during the the crossing, we we're crossing the Atlantic. Uh, there was plenty of times to uh, do test rides on the Aqua Dunk. Wow, just to keep going. Just because it's going. that that initial one that's the most terrifying, right? I mean, you had to have been nervous, even though you helped design it. Uh, well, I had, I had no idea what to expect. I, I, you know, we had it all figured out. We, uh, you know, so so the, the show starts when you climb up to the top of the smokestack. Which takes, like, forever. All right, it doesn't really, but it feels like that. Because you're like, oh, I must be there. And then you turn, and there's another huge set of stairs. And you're like, ah, it's higher. But no, no guess has ever been to the top of the smokestack before. So it's a really, I mean, you get that beautiful view from on top right there. I honestly didn't even look around. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Guess I have to go again. And then, um, and then in the queue, there's uh, uh, the nephews did all these blueprints, and they were trying to come up with the idea of what the aqua dunk is. There's, um, the, you know, is it something where you bounce off a mattress into a tube? Is it, you know, does it have something to do with sharks? And that's when they came up with the idea for the trap door. Oh. So you get that little taste of what the story is in the queue. Right. And then when you get to the top of the smokestack, you climb into that tube. Uh, they close the door on the tube. You're standing on that trap door. You can feel it kind of shifting just a little bit, slightly, and you feel just the... enough to completely terrify you. <laughs> and you feel the the warm. It, the water is warm, which well, is very nice. Thank you for that. Yes. Because I went yes. on the aqua duck. That is freezing. It, it is that freezing. That was freezing. Aqua dunk warm. Like if it, if the water were cold, there was no shot well, of me getting in that. Especially thing. being in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean where it's freezing. And yeah. it's like having that warm water. It's like, oh, I could stay in this tube forever. This is nice. But uh, Yeah, but I would have rather stayed in it than the <laughs> bottom drop out on me. But okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, so so then <laughs> the nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, count down. They, they do the three, two, one. Anchors away. But you don't know when the trap door is going to drop. No, because it doesn't do it right away. They don't, right. they just, they trick you. They, they trick yeah. you, those little guys. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, they're always playing pranks on Uncle Donald Duck. And, right. And uh, they're doing it to us, too. So it's when you're just about to maybe vomit of <laughs> nervousness or something. Luckily, your, your legs have to be crossed and your arms are crossed. So, yeah. That's right. And you're already drenched from the water. So no one knows what else is going on in there. And, and, and so then you, then you drop. And did you notice going over 20 feet over the side of the ship? No. No. During you know where I did notice it is that my room is below it. So I'm oh. actually going to post that video. I have video of people going through it, which is hysterical. <laughs> and when you're outside on my balcony, you can hear them screaming. <laughs> Which makes me laugh because, uh, you know, having done it, now I can appreciate that a little bit more. But um, So how many times have you done it? I only did it twice. But I can tell you the second time when I was more conscious of what was going on, I still was not conscious enough to look out <laughs> to see where I was. I'm just glad to be alive. Yeah. And it, it feels like a long ride. I, I, when I did it and the trap door drops, you're like, oh, is it, is it oh, still going? It's still going. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Now I'm going around this loop. And, and then you do the big splash down at the end. It's almost just enough for you to kind of regain your bearings and enjoy the rest of the ride exactly. and before you stop. Yeah, exactly. it seems to be perfect. Yeah. So job well done. Thank you. Nicely Thank you. done. Yeah. We so appreciate that, it. That's got to be one of your most 
like your one of your proudest things here. But what is your favorite aside from the Aqua Dunk? What is your favorite thing on the uh, ship? My favorite thing is Marvel's Avengers Academy in the Oceaneer Club. Yeah, that, that was an awesome collaboration with Imagineers, with Entertainment, with Marvel Studios, and uh, we created this awesome space where every kid becomes a hero. Very cool. Have you yeah. met, have you met Captain America yet? I haven't. You haven't. I know he's he has an appearance sometime on the ship today though. So yes, I expect he's been, to get he's down. He's been there. waiting for you. <gasps> he has. He has. He has a, he has a mission for you. So um, so definitely catch up with him if you. Okay. Yeah.